Like if you're on a 25k salary and you're paying six six hundred pounds a month, that is bro, mad. then cool, we have a problem. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. How you guys doing, man? Box Ken. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing good, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh, see that honey. See that honey. Back in... I'm kind of funny. Where's you know? this thing come from? I don't know. It just came off the dome, innit? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, I'm good, man. I've been good. It's been a busy week. Okay, cool. How come? Busy week this week. Um, just trying to sort a few things out at the moment um, regarding, I think, that some project that we need to kind of get over the line to refinance. So Perfect. it's just a lot of up and down. Which one's that one? The one in um, Coastal. Oh, so yeah, cool, so, cool, cool, cool. but yeah, but apart from that, it's been good, man. Can't Amazing. complain. Kenny, how you doing? How's things yeah, in London? Yeah, no, things have been easy. You know how they are, man. I've been very calm. Yeah, just... yeah, balance and everything. You've been going hard on the property strat side. I mean, a lot of yeah, the plans you've got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a few things coming out. I've yeah. been working hard on that, you know, so, um, so, so when we're ready to release. You guys will see, innit? Okay, so same more. See. Surprise to me too. Right. Okay, cool. So, <laughs> what about you, Axe? What you been doing this <laughs> Same old, man. Same old. I've been um, up and down, as always, doing what I do, sourcing stuff. Um, had a couple of clients come to me for for properties they're looking for, so mm. working hard trying to get them stuff. Found some stuff in Birmingham, mm. but I might have to go to Liverpool, man. I need to, I need to go mm. back there and and, and okay. try and find some stuff. So I'm gonna go have like a week there and just see what I can find for them. Okay, so. Question: Do you ever have weeks yeah. where you? Don't, where you don't do much? No, no. <laughs> gone are the days, isn't it? The only time I I don't do much is when I'm on holiday. Mm. Oh yeah, it's like I'm on holiday, yeah, but yeah, even yeah. then, but even then, your mind is yeah, your mind is itching. Trust like, me. Oh, hmm. what if this person? Uh, me. You lot don't even let me rest. I don't know. Nah. You lot are talking. I ain't even giving yeah. that question. He's having too much fun. I can having too much fun. Usually, they're having a lot of fun, but you lot. Is me and Goku ready chatting from six a.m. These are the same. So, I can will probably wake up in a few hours. You man are just mad. But yeah, man. But yeah, man. We're back with another guest, of course. Come when you come with the heavy hitters, man. So we got another big king in the in the building. Come on. So yeah, man. Introduce yourself, bro. Yeah. So CK. CK talks money. Come on. Having me, mm. it's Come a on. blessing. What you lot are doing is amazing as well. Cheers, so man. Appreciate it, man. For real, appreciate, man. Appreciate good that. to be in your lot's presence, man. Yes, yeah, nice, yes. Man. love that, love that, love that, love that, love that, man. And yeah, man, we obviously we've seen your Instagram page. You see what you're doing, giving out tips for, especially the. I think the first time buyers, they love you. They love you off. You love your oh, content off. So that's my people. <laughs> that's my people. Love yeah, that, man. man. And um, yeah, so we're just gonna get into it, man. I think yeah, it's, man, it's so important to just come and get you in, talk about some of the stuff that you're into, talk about your journey. And then yeah, probably give us some tips as I know as you as you always do. So yeah, yeah, well, yeah. So where do you start, man? How did it start for you? Where do I start? So yeah. in terms of my um actual journey in mm. financial services, mm. so I worked in banking. Okay, cool. So prior to that, did you go to uni? You was at uni. You or... know what? I'm, I'm glad I, I wasn't even gonna mention that, yes. but I'll, I'll add on that. So okay. I started uni mm. and literally two weeks into my degree, yeah. my friend was like, oh, like, have you heard of this um, Metro Bank? At the okay. time, no, yeah, early, early, yeah, early yeah, years, yeah, yeah. just 2012. Um, yeah, 2012. And then I thought, you know what, let me just apply, mm. apply for the job. Yeah. Never thought I'll get it. Yeah. Had the interview, like, bro, I always tell people that this interview, mm -hmm. I was the only person there not wearing a suit. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you did What did you wear? What did you wear? What's the tracksuit? Jump I wore <laughs> Imagine Carlton Banks. Banks in Fresh Prince with the vest, the <laughs> yeah. shirt, the oh, tie, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and the loafers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was a lot. So it wasn't, it wasn't, it was church it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, yeah. it was church swag. Okay. It, it was smart. Okay. But it wasn't a suit. Yeah, but okay. it could have come off as confident. Definitely. Yeah. He knows who he is. Yeah, swag. He knows who he is. Got me swag. These times it was really raw. Like, I should have really wore a suit. Why did you wear that though? What was your train of thought? You thought, what? No, but you were young then as well. I was 17. Yeah. Okay. Just come off the back of all I knew was education, yeah, kicking yeah, yeah. ball. Mm. That was it. Okay. Mm. So the corporate world, I knew nothing about. about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to the interview, ended up getting the job, mm. climbed the ranks, did um, cashiering, did personal banking, mm. business banking. While at uni? While I was at okay, uni. Okay. So just doing, wow. my, doing my degree. Wow, side by side. Wow. Yeah, literally, bro. Was like, it like full time? So part -time? my first year, I was part-time. Yeah. Mm. But my second or third year, honestly, I always tell people my third year, I went to like nine lectures, bro. Because yeah. 
I realized very early mm. I did Come not want to pursue my degree. I, okay. studied, I studied sports science. Okay. So it was Close. like, okay, let me get the degree for Parents. a month, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Nigeria okay. background. Yeah, 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 you have to yeah, yeah, take that picture. Uh, you understand? Yeah, you have to send it to grandma. Like, yeah, we're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, I thought they you were the same, innit? But, 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 why are they all think the same? No matter how rich you are, you know, they still exact. want you to go back to school. I love yeah, no matter how rich you are. Awesome. Maybe even after I graduate, I thought mm. I to my grandma, she was like, ah, so when are you doing your masters? I said, Big man! Yeah, I just <laughs> Masters! I just finished. <laughs> That's right. Like, yeah. So, did that while I was at uni, mm. and then I went into mortgages. You know, so okay, cool, cool. When I was about to graduate, I thought, I've enjoyed this. Metro mm. Bank, been mm. in for three and a half years. Mm. Like, I want something fresh. Yeah. Mm. I had a friend at the time who had just done their CMAT, okay, which is yeah. the exams that you do to Become be, a, be, be an advisor. Yeah. Okay. okay. Did my CMAT, got a role, did mortgages for about three and a half mm. to four mm. years, man. Mm. Mm. Like, you must have enjoyed it. I mean, three or four bro, years, you must have enjoyed it. Great experience, yeah, 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 bro. Yeah. I think because, like, I'm from West London where there's not many people of my background. Mm. It is. There's Nigerians and stuff, yeah. but it's majority, let's say, Asian community or yeah, white. But, right. but then when I got moved, mm. I was working in Fortney Heath, South Norwood, Mitcham, Streatham. So I was then surrounded by people, that my people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it yeah. made me realise the need and the knowledge gap. Mm. There's always going to be a knowledge gap. Yeah, anyway. yeah, but yeah, the knowledge yeah. gap in West compared to Fort Heath, for yeah, example, mad. massive. Mad. Yeah. massive. And mad. I feel like that's a problem. Like, we really need to, you know, get to that level where yeah. we're also amongst everyone else, you know mm, what I mean, exactly. when it comes to ownership or just knowledge about property and, you know, things like that. This is it. And I guess that's where it all starts because and it's quite weird because I went to school in West and mm. I still didn't know this stuff. Mm. But then it's like, Maybe some of my peers, their parents would have been teaching mm. them. Yeah. Maybe maybe they go home and they have those conversations mm. with mum and dad, and it's like, yeah. okay, so this is what that is. Yeah. I get it. Whereas when I was going into South London, I was like, right, like is... oh, people don't know much. Like mm. every mortgage appointment mm. felt like an educational session. Mm. Every oh, single really? One. Mm. Yeah, especially when I was in Fort and Heath. Yeah. Mm. Any Fort and Heath listeners, listen. Like, it, was, it was it was very evident to me that whenever I was in that office, yeah. the, the clients I had mm. didn't really know yeah, yeah. much. But to be honest, if I, came, if I came into, for example, Metro Bank and I saw yeah. you, but I'm, I, I look around, if I see you, I'm going straight to you. Because <laughs> no, you know our situation is always unique a lot of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use that word. Okay, bro, you know what it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah bro, my basically, is, it? basically like, one of my boys, yeah, 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 <laughs> there was that one move I wanted to make, innit? Back in the day, innit? <laughs> And obviously, like, it is I'm what it is, isn't it? I'm trying to get you in trouble. Yeah, it's yeah, always disclaimers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always disclaimers. Yeah, yeah. I can't really prove that this money's in the, like, from a job, isn't it? There's but always you know what I'm saying? There's always something. Like, the maddest yeah. one I had, dude, I was actually thinking about on the way here, yeah. is that I got a call. I remember I was sat in West Elam, mm. and one of the advisors called me and said, look, I've got an appointment in Mitcham. Yeah. Like, great, great client. Mm. Go over there, just get it done. Cool. So mm. I'm thinking, yeah, cool. Let's do my time to show. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get in the car, get to Mitchum. Sat with this guy now. Great, great guy. Okay. Cool guy. And he's like, okay, but my biggest thing, bro, you can really help me with. So I thought he was going to say, poor credit. I was yeah. thinking, yeah, fine. Okay. We can mm. work around that. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. I said, I really want to buy this property, but um, I don't want to use a deposit. What? And I was okay. like, mm. okay. You don't want to use a deposit? Oh, so how how are you going to fund it then? My friend. I said to him, <laughs> my guy, you need a deposit, please. Mm, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, wait, wait, you... wait, so he was hoping that you could get that some could sort of 100% some sort of... Just bust him. Yeah, literally. Oh, Pull out like, a quick 20% yeah. and be like, yeah, I got you. You, you see, but this is also show that we just... Right. Like, and and people don't your, your guy said this is a great kind of line. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Set me up. No. He saw you up. Don't worry about it. Set me up. Great guy. He's like, damn. That's how I realised that. I remember I called my boy on the way home and I was like, bruv, like, our people actually have a massive knowledge gap. Mm. Big one. Mm. Which brings me back to why I started Secret Talks. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And cool, cool, that's cool. why I do it. It's like, of course, I'd love to make a business out of it eventually. Yeah, yeah. And there mm. is plans I have, but okay. that is the core as to why I started. Mm. Okay, cool, mm. cool, 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 so cool, do you almost yeah. feel like you're helping people? It's fulfilling 100%. to like get people over the line. hundred percent, bro. Like, and that's why I get my... The, Get, get the most satisfaction mm, honestly mm, like I'm not even just saying it because it's recording but when people come to me and they say yo like 
I, I did what you said and it worked. Worked. Mm. I was that, feeling, yeah, see that, that feeling? feeling? I'm telling yeah, you, yeah, like, because you, you have all the money in the world, man, but that yeah, feeling is you know different, I mean? man. You know yeah. you're actually making a difference. Yeah, like, yeah. And, it's and making a difference where it makes sense, like, exactly, you know what I'm within your community yeah, as well. Because I was like, where was that? I think I was at, like, like DLT or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And someone comes over to me, like, you're you're the guy, like, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh, we had we had a meeting about three months ago. Mad, bro. I was like, what's your name? Yeah. name? I was like, wow. Mm. I was like, so what? She's like, yeah, How we bought go? the property. Oh, I've yes. made yeah. my day, bro. Yeah. Stuff like that. Oh, it does, it does. Stuff like, like that. Yeah. It does, yeah. it does. You, don't, you don't know the impact you're going to no, have. It does, no, it does, no, it does. No, no. No. There's been so many times, we'll, obviously we talk on the pod, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. On the pod, we share our experience. experience and we'll, like, you know, we'll try to educate. And then... You get a DM like people saying, "Oh man, I bought that." You're thinking, "Right, I didn't see." There's a lot of stuff you do that you don't, Mate, you don't that, even know. Yeah, it's true. Like, yeah, people are sucking yeah, in, and just taking in, and yeah. trust me, DMs will actually. actually make our day. Sometimes you make you cry. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like, I keep sending them through, guys. Okay. Yeah, and all it is is just sharing wisdom, man. And yeah, we just have yeah. to keep doing it, and just yeah, keep yeah, doing yeah, it, yeah, yeah, and just keep growing bit by bit. By that's it, man. But yeah, I think this part of the segment, I think we should go into some tips for you know first time buyers. I think that's what what you specialize in. So yeah, yeah, if there's like maybe you can do top five, top 10, top 20, whatever you want to do, yeah. just give us some tips for people that going into 2022, I want to get my first, you know, property. Mm. What are you telling them? Like, what would you tell them if they had like a consultation with you or sitting down with you? Come yeah, on. definitely. The first thing I always say to people is mm. you need to get your ducks in a row. Yeah. Firstly, okay. mm. you know, there's, there's, I don't want to sit here and say the mortgage application is hard, mm. but it can be. Mm. Because mm. if you're not prepared, it can cause you issues during the process. Mm, yeah. For example, my boy the other day, he's applying for his mortgage. Mm. And he said, ah, oh, but bro, I'm always in my overdraft, this, this, that. Mm. And I was like, but we spoke about this months mm. ago. And I told you that you need to make sure your accounts look to certain way to right, avoid right. And, uh, You know, so it's stuff like that. It's like being prepared. Mm. It's, yeah. it's knowing what your credit score is before you're viewing properties. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and to yeah. me, that's very basic, but everyone doesn't check their credit score. Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like knowing what your score is. If you have issues, sorting them out, mm. you know? Even things like little things like even your 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 month to month budget, mm. knowing what you're spending money on, because all these things when it comes to affordability and calculating yeah. your mortgage, yeah, it plays a part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to yeah. jump in there, yeah, yeah would yeah. you say yeah, like the f- three months before you make a mortgage application, like how how far do people do, do people need to prepare from? Would you say that? Like, yeah, because obviously yeah, I know some lenders yeah, yeah, ask for three months statement. Yeah. Some people say, say yeah. six. Then three months six, are, or yeah. would you say six? Would you say, like what would you, you say? You know, on the safe side, I'll say six. Mm. Mm. The reason being, across the board, it usually is three months bank statements, three months pay. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah, usually yeah, what yeah. it is. But I have seen instances where it is six. And then you're thinking, and damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. literally, like, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, and is that when there's something mad that they've noticed, and they're like, okay, let's get some more, or is that just yeah, off the bat? You know what it is. Even if they do notice something, mm. it doesn't actually mean they're going to decline your mortgage. Mm. It just gives them more questions to ask. Mm. And when I was a broker, I used to say to my clients, "Look, I'm asking you for this. I might even ask them for more than I need mm. because by looking at their stuff, I'm anticipating." what the lender might yeah. ask for. Mm. So I'm saying, cool, you have these transactions here where, mm. I don't know, a popular one was gambling. I was about to ask that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to get this one a lot. Right. Lenders hate that, 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 isn't it? Oh, Wait, but is it that much of a red flag? Even if it's like, what if it's like tell people yeah. Even if they pound this, this, they don't like it. No, is it setting them up? It depends on how much it is in comparison to what your income is. Mm. Oh. So if it's like a fiver, it, it's calm. If it's five pounds accumulator, mm. whatever, cool. Mm. That, I can't see that being an issue. Mm, but I've okay. had people who are, you're seeing Skybet, 300. You're seeing car finance it's numbers go clear. Hey. on Skybet. Hey. Hey. So that's not just lick. like, my friend, oh. please. Yeah. Car finance car numbers. Finance is number one, isn't it? Boom, boom. Look. That's another one now. Is it? That used to be a very... What's that one? The car finance. Oh, yeah. okay. That used to be a red flag. Is it? But oh, is it chilled now? It's more... You know what? They A lot of lenders see it now as a living expense. Mm. Oh, okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the stat was. I think it was that seven out of 10 cars on the road are either HPV's finance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finance. Ah, yeah, yeah. Seven, wow. seven I heard that too. Wow. Recently yeah. as well. That's so like a recent change. The narrative's yeah. changed a bit. Yeah. Completely yeah. just a cushy yeah. for dinner. Yeah. Exactly. And now yeah. it makes more sense to yeah. some people to just do it that way. Okay. So... That's why they've kind of, in a way, lightened up. Okay. I'm not saying that it doesn't matter. It yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. if you're on a 25K salary and you're paying six, 
Six hundred pounds a month. That is bro. mad. Then cool, we have a problem. Do you hear that? I'm not firing shots at you. Yeah. Yeah. You and you <laughs> and your friends. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, it's like it just depends on the numbers because mm. when it comes to um, what we used to call it was like a debt to income ratio. Yeah. Mm. So we used to look at the income of the client yeah. in comparison to what their outgoings or debt are. Okay. So you can be on eighty grand a year. Have a three hundred pound a month car, mm. and the lender won't even flinch. Okay, mm. so it's so income. Yeah. So, like, just a question then. So, obviously, from our side of things, all we're doing is just giving you statements and all that stuff. But from your yeah. side of you, what are you actually doing with what we're giving you? Well, as, as a broker, right? You're a broker. Yeah. yeah, cool. Analyzing the whole thing. Mm. So, I'm looking out for minuses. Usually, on the statement, a minus will be you're in your overdraft. Mm-hmm. I'm looking out for missed payments, mm-hmm. even little things like missing your own direct debit or standing orders, because mm-hmm. that could flag up to me that okay, I need to see your credit file now. Oh, because okay. if it's missed on the statement, there's a possibility it's also a missed payment on the credit file. Yeah, 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 yeah. So and so that's why the whole mortgage process, like I always say to my friends, it's more than just here's the documents, yeah. give it to the lender, I've got my debt to make a decision. Because yeah. mm-hmm. remember, as a broker. Time is everything. Okay. Yeah. Like, you don't want to spend three hours going through a case, submitting it, and it declines. That's a good point. Like, That's true. As a broker, you want the case to go through. Yeah, yeah, You're getting yeah. paid off That's the back of that case. Yeah. So, you, so you, you want, want it to go through. Yeah, yeah. 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 brokers sometimes. They're like, yeah. Yeah. a big man, man. Hurry up, man. man. <laughs> man. Actually, you know what? Shaking the table, like, all right, yeah. But it's not. want it to go through. Right, right, right. Which is why we even go into that detail. When it comes to your patients, we're looking out for. Is there an NI number on a payslip? Oh, These are things that you don't oh, want. Wow. Yeah, I'm telling you, What's bro. That about? Yeah. Because the, the thing number? is that when it comes to payslips, really, a uh, uh, standard payslip should have your yeah. legit, yeah. should have your national insurance number yeah. on it. Yeah. Your one only has it. Little thing. No, no, you're, you're acting like you don't know what that is. I just don't know. Check it. Check it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it's little things like that that the lender might raise a flag and be like, "What's all this?" Yeah, that doesn't look right. Little like it sounds even silly, but is the number on the pay slip the same as what's been paid into the account? Mm. Yeah, to the things to the penny, like, to the penny wow. bro. To the penny. Little things wow. like that. Mm. So that's what I mean when I say it's more than just all right. Thank you for the documents. There you go to the lender. Yeah. Okay. These member brokers are also um, qualified and they're high. They're heavily regulated. Mm. Mm. So. If you're submitting cases and they're not meeting a certain standard, yeah. you can lose your license. Because you're not wow. doing your job. You're not doing your job properly. Got, it's not fit yeah. proper in, in, in FCA terms. So it's like, there's so many things a broker yeah. has to do. It's actually yeah. a stressful life. Yeah. yeah. I, have a life to you. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have one more question then. Yeah. So, obviously, you as a broker right now, let's yeah. say you're getting loads of cases. Mm. Is it that... Like, can you process cases faster than others? Or is it that every process, like, yeah. or, like, can you, like, if someone said, listen, behind the scenes, yo, like, how do you man, prioritize, basically? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? You know what, really, if we're, if we're going to talk about prioritization, mm. you should prioritize based on who came to you first. Mm. Okay. okay. That's what you should do. Should do. Yeah. You know? but let's say A lot of brokers will prioritize the cases that are bigger because mm. they make them more, more money. money. Yeah. Mm. You know, but just to go back to what you were saying as well, will some brokers do cases quicker than mm. others? Mm. Mm. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you have to be friends. 100%. Yeah, okay. And this is why, like, if, if you see, if you see some, of my, some of my videos where I talk about seeing a broker, mm. I always try and use the term a good broker. Because mm. oh, a good broker, anybody, mm. like, you can, t- you can give me details about yourself mm. and they will know what lender fits you. Straight away. Mm. Straight away. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's, and that's when, as a broker, I realise, you know what, man? I'm all, I'm all right. I'm all right. Oh, okay. yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm good yeah, because yeah. it's like, People will come to me and say, oh, I got a bonus, but I've only got the bonus once. Right. Um, I didn't get a bonus two years ago. Mm. I know what lender will be use okay 100% it. of your bonus right. versus what lender will only use 50%. Wow. So that's why you need a broker, guys. 100%. Right, then. And I also know, all right, you have a missed payment in the last 12 mm. months, cool. I know what lenders will lend to you. I know what lenders will. Mm. You know, mad, mad. if you're a contractor, yeah. I know what lender will take all your income in. Mm. Some might only take the 48 weeks of the year. Mm. So there's so many things mm. that you look into as a broker. Mm. That's, That's why cool. it's important to see ideally an experienced yeah. broker. Okay. That to, to jump in as well, yeah, would yeah. you advise, would this be a, would you say all first-time buyers mm. should use a broker or would you say it depends on your situation or would you say, and on the flip of that as well, would you say they should always use a paid broker? Would you say they should use a free London, um, London, London country, country kind yeah. of vibe? Or cool. Would you say? So, 
First some buyers, should they always, always use a broker over mm-hmm. a bank? One million. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably yeah. going to be biased because yeah. I was a broker yeah, 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 yeah. but it's like, I, I've never been able to understand going to see someone who can only offer you one group of products yeah, yeah, yeah. versus someone who can offer you the whole market. Right, right, right. I, 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 I can't think of any argument that works in the favour of going to it the market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense yeah. to me. You know? yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, on that, that's what I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paid versus non-paid, it just depends what you can... It's a tricky one because mm. we used to charge. Yeah. <laughs> we charge how, how much are you charging? How, we were how, charging how? 499. Yeah. Okay. So 49, the company said 499 per application. Okay, just, just, just a straight flat, fee. Mm. Flat fee. Okay. Every time. Uh, Same okay. thing. Okay. But honestly, with this new um, way of online brokering yeah, and yeah. robo advice, uh, you can use London and Country. Yeah. I know people who work at London and Country mm. and they're great at their job. Okay. And it's free. And what, it's do free you, so, like, what do you mean by this new way um, of... Like, like online stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because when I first started, it, it never existed. Um, oh. I, start, I started being a broker in 2015. Mm. So before that, it was known that you see a broker, you pay. Yeah. There might be brokers out there that don't charge. Mm. But across the board, majority of brokers charge. Okay. And so you might have probably heard of like um, people like Habito, Trussell, yeah. um, LNC, mm-hmm. London and Country. Mm-hmm. You know, these are the brokers that are online. They're like the new age mm. of brokers. Mm. Okay, cool. You know, you don't have to go into an office and in a stage oh, and see yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. It's yeah, a high street. I love that. Yeah, yeah, I prefer yeah, yeah. it. No, I prefer yeah, like, it's flexible, bro. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, call up, I found the property, start the process, mm. boom. Send yeah. the documents through. You're still in your house. You're good. So it's like, it's, it's, it's like a new way of, of moving forward, I would say. Yeah, I would yeah. say eventually all brokers will probably be free. Yeah. Because oh, wow. Really? Once, yeah. Because, and the reason I'll say that is because once again, I always look at things on if it can be justified. Yeah. And if I know this broker wants to charge me, I know 499 mm. yeah. versus London and Country, who actually have access to the whole market. Yeah. They're going to charge me nothing. Yeah, unless it's Lose family, unless, it. yeah, unless yeah. it's family ties, and you want to just yeah, look after yeah, your bedroom. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I can't think of a way that you'd want to pay five hundred pounds to pay zero. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're buying a house; it's cost involved. So, yeah, so you're yeah, trying yeah. to save money already. Yeah, so that yeah, five hundred, yeah. you're thinking, yeah, I can save them. Yeah, but yeah. Let me just I, go over. I here. guess with brokers, how do they make the the free ones? I guess they make the money on the other side when yeah. by the bank, whoever from then the they, commission. Yeah, they they kind of pay them that way. Oh, exactly. Yeah, and I guess obviously, I think there's another argument out there to say. The reason people pay, you tell me if it's justified or not, is your situation might be complicated and you might need a specialised, yeah. more like, like specialist lender kind yeah. of thing. So would you say in that case it's justified? Yeah, or you, you know what? what? There are cases where people, like we were talking about earlier, might have missed payments. Mm, yeah. They might have, you know, issued. They might even be a EU resident and they're trying to buy here, mm. specialist mm. lender. And in those situations, yeah, cool. I would say, yeah, pay. Right. But these specialist mm. lenders... And this is why the biggest thing as for a broker, like, listen, if you come and see me as a broker and you think I'm a great guy Mm. and we get on Mm. and I have access to 15 lenders versus the guy you don't get on with, Mm. but he has access to over 100, 100. you need to be looking for brokers that are whole of market. Mm. That's the term that's used. If you're speaking to a broker, you need to be saying, are you whole of market? Okay. Mm. Check their their website. Check it out because some of them will say yes. The first brokerage firm I ever worked for, I don't even want to bait them out, but <laughs> they used to say they were a whole of market, but they but weren't. They, were. ah. they had access to 13 lenders on just the market. Capping. Hey, just capping. Just like, capping. Imagine. In a way, like, so it's like, someone will come to me and I'm just like, yeah, we have access to blah, blah, blah. Mm. And they'll be like, oh, but I saw another broker and they said they can do the deal with this. Yeah. That person's not even on my list. I can't even see their ring. <laughs> oh, that's never so, how do you just have to try and get someone out? Okay. I have to try and ginger yeah, them. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> wait, <laughs> what this lender yeah. does. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> Twist it like that. Get the commission back. Make them a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't worry about like that. Some biscuits yeah. are put on the table. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the second firm I worked for, mm. every lender on the market. Oh, so the ones you've never heard Oh. There's there's lenders out there that you have never come that you will never come across. Man. You know, Ever. this actually took yeah. me time to like get like I thought all lenders were just high street banks for mm. a long time yeah. till I realized that they weren't. No. You know what I'm saying? Like there were actually yeah. like smaller companies that would yeah. give you the money. Mm. And you learn that a lot when you're into like sort of um property development. Mm. If you, if you do like renovations, yeah, yeah bridges. You, you will learn that there's yeah. a lot of lenders out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially mm. a lot of specialist lenders, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. And they can come in handy. They can be expensive, 100%. as we know. But mm. it's like, if it's going to work for you, yeah, yeah. then listen, 
Sometimes, you, go, sometimes yeah. you don't have much choice, do you? This yeah. is, I, I, think, I think we even went off the yeah. title. He was going for a list. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Tips, 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 you uh, probably say anything else that I would say. So we've said preparation. We've said yep. see a good broker. Bro car. Um, the preparation, the credit score stuff is part of the preparation. Yeah, yeah it's really good. Right? So those are the main things that I would say. Okay, cool. those are the main mm-hmm. things that I would say for a first time. What buyer. What would you say is like one of the biggest mistakes first time buyers make or pitfalls or stuff to kind of look out for as well? Yeah, the the mistakes first time buyers make I would say usually to do with the property. Mm not with the mortgage. Oh, wow. Okay. And by that, what I mean is that it's hard for them to make a mistake on the mortgage because you have an advisor, someone is getting you the best deal on the that's market. That's of course, you can still make little errors here and yeah, there, but yeah. really the responsibility lies mm. with the mortgage broker. Yeah. But for example, I've known people to look at properties, maybe offer too high because mm. they really, really want yeah. it. Got you. Then that's when the, the, the valuation comes back and we're saying no, it's worth, worth less. this. Yeah, it's yeah. not worth that. Yeah. They're like, oh, but I really want it. Mm. And this comes back to my whole thing of everyone's always in a rush. Yeah. It's like, you don't want to rush and this buy point. something <laughs> that is not going to benefit you down the line. Mm. Or that's going to cause you problems. Mm. And with first-time buyers, that's the biggest issue. It's always that rush. That, and and I, I get the excitement. First house, you're excited. It's you the wanna... emotions, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like yeah, everything yeah, is just yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Like, I can't wait to show my key yeah, on Instagram. Instagram, that yeah, pose that in front pose, of the, yeah. like this. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's like, that. that is the biggest mistake a lot of yeah, first time buyers yeah. make. I would say that as well as not shopping around. Okay. And when yeah. I say not shopping around, I mean not viewing enough properties to mm. find out exactly what you want. Mm. Mm. Not shopping around for things like your legal fees, mm. you know, solicitors and stuff mm, like that. True. There's loads across the board and sometimes yeah. you end up paying too much mm. yeah, when you could have really paid a lot less if you were just once again not rushed yeah. and taking your time yeah. with your yeah. broker as well. Some people don't even know London and country exists. No. Yeah, yeah. But because their brothers, friends, uncles, used sister to this told them that right, they used right, someone, right, right. they've gone and paid seven hundred fifty yeah, pounds now. Had it for free. A lot of the inquiries I get sometimes is I paid a broker, um, he hasn't done my mortgage. Can you help me? Mm, 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 and when mm. I ask where the broker's from, mm. it's always one of those situations. It was my mm. friend's cousin, uh, or this or that, yeah. you know? <sighs> People need to shop around. Yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it's hard because when you're first a buyer, you're actually a novice. Yeah. You yeah. don't know anything. Mm. Yeah. So my advice would be see a well, see someone who you know is experienced in these areas. Yeah. Follow properties, Jack. Come on, come on. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> find resources that are yeah. gonna educate you. Yeah. Got you, you got know? you. Because yeah. Yeah. Education isn't, well, I can't even say it's limited anymore because yeah. it's actually out there. It's yeah. out there. You just have to find out. Yeah, yeah, facts, yeah, facts, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So. But I was saying to him yeah. that just earlier today, I said, yeah. sometimes it's not that the information isn't out there, but you know, when the information isn't coming from someone that looks like, sometimes it just doesn't resonate. It just doesn't, way, yeah. it just doesn't the enter your brain the same way. The way it's you know what I'm saying? The way it's packaged. If I come to your page now, it's just going to enter a bit more smoother than mm. if it's and so someone else. else. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I think that's that. part of it. Representation is part of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If, representation if, is part of it. Yeah, even yeah, on the back yeah. of what you're saying, I think you already given, you know, some ideas already, but how do people identify like a good broker? Like you would mm. say, what what should they look out for? Mm. How do they, what should they be looking out for? Basically? And just before yeah. we go there, we're going to take a break. You okay, know, cool. yeah. we're going to take a quick break and then we're cool. going to go into the next Yeah, sorry, buddy. That was quite deep. 